Uh, now we are going to describe you uh, the main features of the ACM. Uh, the ACM is uh, contained in a shockproof uh, case, a wheeled one for uh, an easy transportation. You have a long handle, you can retract, and two different ways of hanging. You have four locking systems, two on the side and two on the front. And here is what you have in the inside. The ACM okay. uh, has uh, a basic configuration and then uh, uh, many different uh, optional ones. The main, uh, the main configuration is um, uh, is configured uh, this way. You have uh, two HP inlets with the two high pressure hoses for going to the tanks. You have the two relative uh, high pressure gauges with double scale, so bar and PSI. You have the, ha the switch handle to choose uh, if using air from uh, uh, tank A or tank B. Then you have the pressure regulator and then you have the diver uh, intermediate pressure gauge again uh, with double scale bar and PSI in the basic configuration you have the output for two divers uh, with stainless steel fittings going to the umbilical to the diver. The last device in the basic configuration is the shut off valve one for each diver uh, this is when you need, for example, just uh, diver A, you can close the air to diver number 2. The optionals for the ACM are uh, mainly three. You have the inlet for the low pressure, so the inlet for a um, compressor. Uh, this inlet is going straight to the uh, medium pressure regulator. This is if you need to connect uh, a compressor instead of one of the two tanks. The second optional uh, are the pneumo systems. The pneumo systems are two, one for each diver and are the system made uh, to see the depth of uh, each diver. And the third option is the communication system, hardwired communication system. The basic setup of the ACM is with the, always with the two tanks, two cylinders connected to the unit. Uh, only one per time can work, so we have the selection handle, now only the cylinder A is working this one now for example if I'm going out of air on this cylinder I can switch to the second one now I'm using only this cylinder and I can easily close this one release the pressure from the hoses and disconnect the hose to change the tank now we are going to see how to connect the umbilicals in this case uh, is the full configuration, so we have uh, the hose for uh, breathing air to the diver, the hose for the pneumo system and the cable for the communication. The umbilical is going to be connected here, you can screw in and then using a 22 mm wrench you can tighten a little the hose. Then you have the pneumo hoses going in his quick connection so you simply have to push in and that's it finally you have the communication cable diver number one 
you insert and you use the thread to lock the hose. The last thing is the microphone for the communication unit, the surface microphone. And here you have a device to hang the microphone.